Hello, this is David Hellbock speaking and this is my first piano tutorial video ever. Woohoo! Within the last year after the release of my latest album, uh, I got quite a few questions by my piano colleagues and piano students about the CD on which I play the music of John Williams in my own jazzy creative arrangements. I never had the time to make such a video and answer those questions, but now, due to these guys, I have tons of time. I got the most questions about my arrangement of the theme of Superman. Here I play a quite complex rhythm and a weird time signature with my left hand and on top of that I improvise quite freely with my right hand. So, how do I do that? It's actually not that complex and much easier than you think. So stay tuned if you want to know the secret. By the way, please click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in more crazy piano stuff like this, or even beginner piano stuff, you can drop me a line via Facebook, Instagram, uh, email, homepage, YouTube, or whatever, and we can try to schedule a Skype lesson. I recorded more than 20 CDs as a leader already, and actually on quite a few of them I dealt with the same concept on some pieces and evolved it over time. On one of my first CDs I already had a rolling, repeating bass line in my left hand and improvised on top of that. Back then it was more a simple, bluesy, Keith Jarrett-like bass line with steady eighth notes, yeah, like this. A few CDs later, I thought, okay, let's do the same thing, but in a different time signature. And I came up with something like this. Here is the bass line slowly. With my trio back then I also recorded this composition. Yeah, but it's still the same idea, but this time in a 5-4 time signature. Then later in 2012 I recorded another solo piano CD with only Prince covers. On one tune there, uh, When You Were Mine, I used again a bass line in 5-4, but this time a little longer bass line which uh, repeats after two bars.
here's a clip from that tune from a festival in Asia. Okay, I knew I wanted to go back to some old memories and all the melodies from my childhood. So I had the idea to record a whole CD with uh, film scores of John Williams reduced to the solo piano. And with one piece, Superman, I still wanted to use this ostinato rolling bass line. But over the years, I somehow got bored mm. always using the same idea. So what can I do? First let's use triplets instead of eighth notes. I tried a different time signature, this time 7-4, and I came up with a bass line like this. So before I go any further, I want to show you how I get my left hand independent to improvise on top of it. Um, I want to get to the stage where my left hand is doing the job automatically and I don't have to think about it at all. So I set the metronome to a very slow tempo and play very simple rhythms on top of the bass line. Don't get bored by these very simple rhythms. I think it's the goal to start with your concentration in your left hand and slowly, slowly add more and more complex rhythms to your right hand so you shift your concentration to your right hand. Then again, faster and faster until I'm at the tempo I want to be. So now I'm at the fast tempo and I do it one last time for you.
Okay, now I want to add some more triplet rhythms on top of the bass line in my right hand. I again uh, put the metronome to a very slow tempo and start again. There are of course much more simple tri triplet rhythms, just find your own ones and then add some more. Now again, I increase the tempo 5 beats per minute every time, every time, increase it, increase it, increase it, increase it even more, 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 and then let's do it again. When I'm at this stage of my practice, I start to use all the rhythms from before in my right hand. And I now already invested so much time into my left hand that it starts to play automatically. So in my right hand, I'm thinking even different time signatures, sometimes out of time and sometimes more complex rhythms. But all of this still felt pretty boring to me. Or not, boring is not the right word, but not really flexible in terms of improvising. I still felt like in a box, in a box of this bass line. It's very easy to start the bass line and stop it again, but it gets really, really hard if you want to play variations of this bass line. And as I'm playing this tune, Superman, and I'm playing it different every time than I'm playing it live. So I thought, okay, when I leave maybe out one note or one or two, three notes and make different variations with this bass line, still in this 7-4 uh, triplet feeling. And so I came up with ideas like this.
But now it gets really, really hard because there are so many variations, possible variations, and I would have to make all of them completely independent and automatic to improvise on top of them. Even if I do that, I mean, that's years of practice and hard work. Even if I do that, it's still very, very hard to play completely independent with a complex rhythm and to stay really, really tight. So I looked and searched for a simpler solution. I found a very interesting idea that I think also Ligeti used in some of his etudes. Let's say, I mean, the idea is very, very simple. Let's say you play a C major scale, but always repeating it in this eighth note rolling fashion. It would sound like this. Very, very simple, somehow beginner stuff. But now what happens if I, for example, press two keys with my other hand? I press two keys very, very quietly, so you, that the keys go down, but you don't hear the sound. And I play the same C major scale. All of a sudden you have a very interesting rhythm, but you're still playing this very, very basic C major scale. So can I use that for my purpose? Now let's try my variation number two of my bass line, but instead of uh, playing it like I showed it to you before. So playing it with one hand and really playing the rhythm, I now play my triplets, steady triplets, but I block those notes with my other hand. So I would block this one, this one and this one, and then would play Hey, that works! but I need two hands, so I need another solution. So I tried some more stuff. I tried something like this. That works, but only on the white keys and it's not very, very flexible because I have to put away the stickers and I, it's not possible to, to do it during a piece, you know. So I searched a lot what could be possible and tried other stuff. Finally, I found those guys in a store for construction and wood. I had to work on them a bit, glue some of them together to get the perfect height. But then, after some time, they worked perfectly. I put it in like this. They block the keys perfectly, even the black ones. Sometimes you have to be careful with the piano, not to hurt the piano, but it's pretty, pretty easy. And the big advantage is I can immediately, when I want to play another bass line, I can immediately put it in another key. I just need like three seconds to change them. So I have this bass line. Three seconds and this bass line. So that's the solution I have for my Superman piece. Well, okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, contact me if you want to have a lesson, 
buy my CDs at Act Music or your local music store. And if you really like the video, you can also support me via PayPal, of course. All links below. Thanks. Mm -hmm.